Hello and welcome to another Hacker Boxes unboxing video. Let's jump in and see what we're looking at today. Alrighty, so this month's box is Hacker Box 0035 with the theme electrochemistry. And the, um, the things we're going to be looking at in this box are all electrochemical sensors and things related to sensing uh, electrochemistry and similar um, physical properties of um, objects and solutions and things of that nature. So let's see what we have. The, um, first of all, uh, let's draw your attention to uh, the um, box guide. You can always find those at hackerboxes.com. Go to the main hackerboxes.com page and scroll on down to the bottom and there are links to the box guides. You can also click on the um, uh, icon on the main hackerboxes.com page for each box and find a link to the box guide in there. Um, so one of the most interesting things that uh, people have um, been doing with these electrochemical sensors are making their own little breathalyzers. So that's one of the options that we're going to have today. You can see we have a lot of fun items in this box. So I'm start with the basics here. We have a, a solderless breadboard and jumper wires, as is often the case. This um, solderless breadboard is, um, we've had a couple requests for the, to have one of these crystal ones that are, that are clear. And we have a, um, an Arduino Nano. As, um, we really love these uh, microcontrollers. We'll be using those with our projects this month. And uh, um, a really nice, stout, very heavy-duty uh, USB cable to go with that micro USB. So one of the uh, first things we have in this box here is the uh, this is the TDS3 or Total Dissolved Solid sensor. Uh, measures temperature and also the amount of total dissolved solids in a in water. So. Uh, people often use these to test the quality of their drinking water or their tap water to see how many um, uh, contaminants are in the water. So these are really interesting and um, the, a particularly uh, useful project to use this for is you can use it to uh, make your own total dissolved solid sensor and then calibrate it with uh, this one that comes pre-calibrated. So um, it kind of can serve double duty in that, that capacity. Um, we have a set of... Uh, resistors and LEDs and buttons that can be used with the solderless breadboard for doing a variety of different projects and experiments and have a couple different temperature related uh, sensors in here and these number of different sensors. Let's cut this one open. All right. So this one um, here, the little blue square one we've seen before, this is the uh, pretty standard DHT11 um, digital humidity and temperature sensor. Uh, it's pretty basic. It's a the, uh, humidity sensor is a um, capacitive humidity sensor and there is a uh, built-in uh, thermistor for finding the temperature. And then um, uh, most of us are familiar with the, uh, the Dallas Semiconductor um, uh, DS, uh, as an 1820, 18B20 um, thermo sensor. So this is exactly one of those, but it's encased in stainless steel with shrink tubing on it, so it's waterproof. So this is a waterproof thermal sensor, but it's uh, electrically, um, you can interface with it the same way you do with the uh, DS18, 18B20. And these are some interesting components to use when we get into our electrochemical sensors because the um, the electrochemical uh, characteristics of a lot of ma materials or sensor or, or gases or liquids is a function of its temperature or sometimes in some cases even the humidity. So being able to sense those separately and use them for calibration or adjusting the uh, electrochemical sensors can be quite useful. All right, and we have three different um, uh, electrochemical sensors here. Go ahead and get these opened up. Uh, 
Alrighty, so this sensor right here is an MQ-135 module. Um, this sensor is a gas, uh, it's a kind of a general gas sensor, and it is sensitive to uh, ammonia, to nitrogen oxides, carbon dioxide, benzene, alcohols, and you know some other other uh, chemicals that might be in a gas. So you can use this to do um, pretty generic gas sensing. Uh, this little sensor here is an air quality sensor. <clears throat> it can detect smoke, alcohol, volatile um, organic compounds, and um, I think it can also maybe detect benzene. I'm not sure. This is a this one is here is the MQ3. Uh, if you look up projects online for breathalyzers, this is a pretty common sensor for that. It's uh, an alcohol sensor. It's also somewhat sensitive to benzene. So all these are electrochemical sensors, and they can be interfaced uh, through the solderless breadboard to the microcontroller. And this one here comes with a little shrouded connector, kind of like a Grove-style connector, but there are some. It also comes with some headers if you want to replace that to make it uh, compatible with a uh, solderless breadboard. So. Um, you know, these are pretty interesting. We'll work with these to try these out. Like I said, you know, this one right here can make a, a really nice alcohol sensor or like a breathalyzer. Um, the, um, and in general, they're really easy to access from a microcontroller. All right. And then we also have a another thermal sensor, but this one's quite interesting because it's a non-contact thermal sensor. And this is the sort of thing where you aim it at something. It's an infrared uh, thermal pile type of sensor. It's a uh, this particular module is referred to as a GY906. It actually has a small small digital controller built into it that um, calibrates it and uh, lets you read out over the uh, I squared C bus into the microcontroller the. Uh, the, th the whatever temperature that this device is aimed at and like I said it's uh, contactless uh, and you could you could if you wished couple it with this little laser sensor so that you can see what you're aiming it at but we'll say that this thing has a pretty wide angle of sensing so you know as you get more than you know maybe about 10 centimeters away from it you're looking at a, at a wide angle so the uh, the laser isn't exactly too useful in that sense but it's still kind of fun to play with um, so that's another it's a contactless thermal sensor and like we said, we're uh, going to be working with the um, Arduino Nano microcontroller here. Here again, this is the Robot Dine Black microcontroller we've used a few times before. And we also have the uh, a one-inch OLED display that we can interface to that on our breadboard, along with um, you know, as we already mentioned, a. Uh, just some buttons and LEDs to do some different projects and to uh, display the output from our sensors or to um, you know make uh, anything that we need that has a little interface of a few buttons and then display an output on the uh, on the OLED screen. And uh, we have a couple of cool cool decals this month here. One related to our uh, electrochemistry theme a bit and. Uh, and um, this uh, maker-themed uh, logo is pretty uh, pretty popular. Maybe we did this one a little little over a year, year and a half ago. So, and uh, try that out again. And that's um, pretty much what we're looking at here for Hacker Box number zero zero three five, elect the uh, electrochemistry-themed box. Okay, thanks for being with us today and following along with our projects and what we're working on. If you want to receive some things like this, some cool electronics discovery every month, or look at any of our other projects, head on over to hackerboxes.com and have a look at our monthly subscription offering and the other kits that we have available. Also, remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks a bunch.